What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. Moving on to the next video dealing with piecewise functions. In these next few videos, we're gonna go through some word problems, applying piecewise functions to them. So in this particular word problem, we're told that a phone company charges $30 a month for the first 200 minutes of use. After 200 minutes, they charge four cents per minute for overage. And then we have to model the cost as a piecewise function. So before we get into the algebra or creating the function, uh, just so we're clear on what's going on here, I'm gonna represent this situation with a number line. So this is gonna be zero minutes and then up until 200 minutes, right? We're just gonna get charged a flat fee of $30, okay? And then what's gonna happen is if we talk over 200 minutes, then we're gonna get charged four cents per minute of overage for the minutes after 200, okay? So what that means is, let's say we talk 201 minutes. What would be the cost? Well, the cost is gonna be the flat fee of $30 plus for that one minute of overage, right, over 200, 201 minus 200 is one, for that one minute of overage, you're gonna get charged four cents, right? And so your charge, your total charge, if you're gonna talk 201 minutes, is gonna be $30 and four cents. Okay, what if you talk 202 minutes? Well, you're still gonna get charged $30, right? But now you're gonna get charged overage for two minutes. There's gonna be two minutes of overage over the 200 at four cents per minute. So you're gonna get charged an overage fee of eight cents. So your total charge is gonna be $30 and eight cents. Right, if you talk 210 minutes, you're gonna get charged that flat fee of $30 there's an overage amount of 10 minutes and you're getting charged four cents for each of those overage minutes. So that's gonna be a total extra charge of 40 cents. So your total charge for 210 minutes is gonna be $30 and 40 cents. Okay, so just wanted to mention that before we actually make this, um, this function or get into the algebra. So what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna actually introduce some new variables here. So I'm gonna let C equal the cost, and then I'm gonna let X equal the number of minutes that are used. So we're gonna say C of X, and there's basically gonna be two scenarios, right? Either the number of minutes you're gonna use is gonna be less than or equal to 200, and actually, if we're doing this properly, we should put greater than or equal to zero because you can't have negative minutes, right? So the lowest amount is going to be zero. So we would put that as well because this is a word problem. So from zero to 200, including the 200, you're just gonna get charged this flat fee of $30, right? So that is gonna be here. You're, it's just the cost, C of X is just gonna be 30. It's just gonna be a horizontal line. It's gonna be a flat fee for any minutes from zero to 200. Now, what about if you use the phone for greater than 200 minutes? Now, let me actually move this over a bit, All right? So the question is, if you use the phone for greater than 200 minutes, what's going to be the equation that we put here that's going to represent the charge? Well, let's think about this. You're definitely gonna get charged the $30 no matter what. And then you're gonna get charged four cents per minute for any overage minutes over 200. So how can we represent that? Well, what we could say is you're gonna get charged four cents for any overage minutes. How can we represent the overage minutes? We could say X minus 200, like that, right? Because we're trying to find out an equation here if we know that X is going to be greater than 200, right? So let's say the X value is gonna be 300. We talk 300 minutes, then we're automatically gonna look at this equation here. We're not gonna look at this because this 300 doesn't fall in this domain, it falls in this domain, 
right? And so if we know that we're making an equation, we're making an equation for x values greater than 200. That's a known fact that x is greater than 200. Well, if you want to get the number of overage minutes, it's just going to be whatever that x value is. Let's take that example of 300 minus the 200. So that would be 100 overage minutes and you're getting charged 4 cents per overage minute. And so this here is basically going to be the equation right, that we input over here. But when you input the equation here, it has to be simplified. So what that means is we're going to have to distribute this 0 0.04 in the brackets. So we would have 0 0.04x um, minus 0 0.04 times negative 200 would give us 8, like that. And then notice that the 30 and the minus 8, those are like terms. So we'd end up with 0 0.04 x minus, or sorry, plus 22, like that. And that would be the simplified equation that we input over here, 0.4x plus 22, like that. So sometimes you might see these equations in the solutions. You might be like, where did they get this 22? Well, really, all they did was they simplified um, this equation, this original one. So this is what makes sense, right? This is what makes intuitive sense, as I just explained to you what was happening. And then after you simplify it, the numbers that you get in the simplified function, they may not make intuitive sense, but what it means is that there was an original expression that did make sense, that did make intuitive sense, and then it was just um, simplified. And then you could test it, right? So remember, we said that, okay, for 201 minutes, what did we say our charge is going to be? It was going to be $30.04. So if I plug in 201 over here, 201 times 0 0.04 would give us 8.04. And then 8.04 plus 22 gives us that 30.04. All right? If we were to plug in 210, well, we know we're going to get charged $30 plus 40 cents. So our charge would be $30 and 40 cents. And so if I plug in 210 for the X value in this equation, 0 0.04 times X would give us 8.4, right? $8 and 40 cents plus the 22 would give us that charge of $30 and 40 cents, right? So you could test your equation and make sure that it works when we were figuring out these charges manually, right? With the flat fee plus the uh, old rich fee right here, right? So you would see that it would work for any X values greater than 200. And so that right there ends up being your piecewise function. And that is the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you wanna find more videos like this, you can go to my website, allthingsmathematics.com. Over there, all my courses are organized for both high school and university. All the videos are organized by chapter. Also, if you have any questions, you can hit me up. My contact details are also on the website. Enjoy your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.